Good morning. This is Pastor Jason of Conifee Center with a word for today. And the word for today is double-minded. Double-minded to be of two minds. To try to have your cake and eat it too. You cannot serve God and the world system. You cannot serve God and self. We're not supposed to be carnal or fleshly and spiritual. We're just supposed to be spiritual. Being of two minds, trying to straddle the fence, pursuing the things of this world, and trying to pursue the things of God, causes a contradiction in us that leads to hypocrisy. James writes, cleanse my hands. That means deal with the external sin. Now, just my opinion, the external sin will just fall away if we deal with it the first time that God brings it up. He empowers us just to let it go, and it just goes. However, purify my heart, deal with the internal sin. This is tough. This is the real battle. This is a lifelong battle. Don't be double-minded. Purify your heart. See, double-mindedness is a sin. It's that trying to willy won't he. It's that trying to, I can get away with this, or it doesn't really matter. Double-mindedness is sin, and one that is double-minded cannot do the work of God, cannot please God. James writes, you have not because you ask not. You have not because you ask with wrong motives. You have not because you ask to spend it on pleasing self instead of pleasing God. We cannot be double-minded about this. Desire for the things of this world puts me at odds with God. But... Uh, But God, two of my favorite words, he gives greater grace. Where sin abounds, grace abounds much more. And here's where we start purifying our hearts. We tap into the complete and fully present power of the Holy Spirit by faith. He gives grace to the humble. He gives grace, or he, he, yeah, he gives grace to those who have properly placed confidence. We acknowledge that the Holy Spirit is the one who can help us in this purification of our hearts of becoming single minded. Therefore, submit to God, submit to the leading of the Holy Spirit. This word submit actually means don't resist. Don't resist God in any way. Let's not debate with him. Let's not resist him. Let's save our resistance for the devil and for the flesh. Draw near to God and he will draw near to me. This is uh, the lichen type of the priest coming into the temple and how he, as he steps each step closer to God to bring his sacrifice, God manifests himself. So let's take a step towards God, and he will take a step towards us. See, repentance is what is in order to root out resisting God, and repentance is what is in order to root out double-mindedness. Humility, property of place, confidence, puts me in position for God to purify me, to bless me. Now, look, at we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Life is but a vapor. So choose today. Choose right now to be led by the Spirit. Choose right now to have a single focus. Choose right now not to be double-minded. James says, do the right thing. So let's do the right thing. Let's do the God thing. Let's obey God without debate, without resistance, without double-mindedness. Because James says, if you do not do what you know is right, that is sin, to be double-minded is sin. The word for today is double-minded. Get out there and be single-minded, focused today. God bless. Check in tomorrow.